So today we look at um, how do we live the overcoming life. Now Jesus came to bring into us the kingdom of God and bring us into the kingdom of God. So as children of God, the kingdom is established in our hearts and in our lives. So that is one aspect or one side of the kingdom of God. On the other hand, Jesus said that we need to be valiant and tenacious warriors to experience the kingdom. So who do we fight against? Do we fight against God? Is God keeping away the promises or the blessings that we have to press in and fight against Him? No. You know, it's not God because He's not the one who's keeping away the kingdom blessings or the promises from us. It's rather, you know, the three enemies that is our own flesh, the world and the devil. These are the three enemies that we need to push past, that we need to overcome in order to take the things of the kingdom, in order to take what God has provided for us. So why should we as believers live an overcoming life? We'll consider uh, three biblical um, uh, reasons or we'll look at uh, three biblical, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, points or three biblical reasons uh, you know why we should be as believers living an overcoming life the first one is to delight the father's heart the second one is to reveal Jesus to the world and the third one is to be fruitful in the kingdom of God so the first thing is to delight the, the father's heart so what would please the father's heart so the answer here is very obvious. Uh, if we delight in God's heart, we would first of all be grateful for every provision that He has made available for us. And we also will strive to live um, in what He has freely given to us by His grace. Part of the covenant blessing is healing. So we press in, we strive in, we take hold of that and we keep running with that. We keep, um, you know, pressing on with that. We keep engaging in that promise till we receive that, till we see that promise become a yes and amen, a reality in our life. When we do that, you know, we are actually, um, uh, you know, pleasing or delighting the Father's heart or we are taking provision of what God has made available for us. The next thing why we should as believers live an overcoming life is to reveal Jesus to the world. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14, um, Paul writes to the church at Corinth and he says, Now thanks be to God who leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Paul states that God always will cause us to triumph in Christ. Whatever the hindrance, whatever the attack that we have, you know, whatever we are engaging uh, in, God will always cause us to be triumphant in Christ Jesus. And it's through this life of triumph that God spreads His aroma, His fragrance uh, of His knowledge everywhere we go. So living a triumphant, victorious and overcoming life is part of positioning uh, of the believer through which, you know, God diffuses the sweet aroma or the fragrance of Christ, the knowledge of God everywhere uh, we go. The third thing, the last point is why we should as believers live an overcoming life is to be fruitful in the kingdom of God. Being fruitful in your life works from inside out. It's not something that can be accomplished by our human willpower, but it's something that is accomplished by the power of God and through the power of the Holy Spirit that is working in and through a believer in Christ. And being fruitful is the work of God in our lives and it's a work of His grace in our lives. 